Hey everyone, John Reed here, author of 50 Things to See with a Telescope. Welcome to the Homeschool Astronomy Challenge Series. In this video, we are going to learn to identify the prominent winter constellations. This is Learn to Stargaze. Winter is one of the best times to stargaze. You just need to dress warm. In the winter here in the Northern Hemisphere, the sun sets around 5 p.m. and it gets dark fast. But you don't need to wait until winter to see these constellations. If you want to see the winter constellations in the late summer, they'll be visible just before sunrise. And if it's autumn, the winter constellations will rise in the east around midnight. So in the winter sky, there are five star patterns that you should know. And they're not all constellations. The first is by far the most famous. Yes, it's Orion's Belt. These three bright stars are one of the most identifiable patterns in the night sky. Some people even go looking for these stars in the summer and get confused when they see these stars in the constellation Aquila from the Summer Triangle, which we talked about in video number six. However, Orion's Belt is much more prominent and is best viewed in the evening in winter. Orion's Belt is part of the constellation Orion. Orion is a hunter in Greek mythology. The bright star Betelgeuse represents his shoulder, and the bright star Rigel represents his foot. The second star pattern you should recognize is the Hades. This is actually an open star cluster, a group of stars born at around the same time. But that bright red star, Aldebaran, is not actually part of the open cluster, as it's much closer to us than the rest of the stars. The Hades is part of the constellation Taurus, which also contains another bright open cluster, the Pleiades, which we'll discuss in another video. You should also learn to recognize Canis Major, the greater dog, which is pretty easy to identify as the constellation really does look like a dog, with the bright star Sirius on the dog's neck like an ornament on its collar. The constellation Gemini, or the Twins, contains primarily dim stars, which can be a challenge to view from the city. However, the heads of the twins, stars Pollux and Castor, are identifiable even in light polluted skies. Finally, the constellation Auriga is identified by this hexagon of stars. Auriga lies along the plane of the Milky Way galaxy and contains several beautiful open clusters which make great targets for small telescopes and binoculars. There are other constellations in the winter sky, like Menosaurus and Lepus, but these are less important for the casual stargazer to memorize as their stars are dim and they don't help you star hop to many prominent deep sky objects once you move up to a telescope. If you're following along in the 50 things to see with the telescope activity workbook, the winter constellations are found on page 22. To complete this challenge, first trace the constellations with a pencil, then go out and see them with your eyes. Check the appropriate boxes to record your observations. I hope you enjoyed learning about the winter constellations. Please subscribe so you don't miss the next video, and remember, the future is looking up.